This topical suspension is commonly used to cleanse the skin and treat acne, as well as other skin conditions like seborrheic dermatitis and rosacea. It contains an antibacterial agent and a drying agent that helps shed the top layer of skin. This medication is beneficial for people looking to manage their acne and improve their overall skin health. The recommended daily dosage and optimal timing for using this medication can vary depending on individual needs, so it's best to consult with a healthcare professional for personalized advice. When using ZMA Clear 9% to 4.5% topical suspension sulfonamide antimicrobials, remember to only apply it to the skin. First, make sure to clean your face using a gentle cleanser to remove any makeup, oil, or dirt. If you are using the liquid form, shake the bottle well before each use. If you are using the liquid cleanser, apply a generous layer of medication as directed by your doctor, usually once or twice daily. Gently massage it into the affected skin for 10 to 20 seconds until a full lather forms, rinse thoroughly and pat dry. If you are using the cleansing cloth, wash the affected areas with a cleansing cloth as directed by your doctor, usually once or twice daily. First wet your face with water. Then wet the cloth with a little water and work into a full lather. Cleanse your face with the cloth for 10 to 20 seconds. Do not get the lather into your eyes. Rinse thoroughly and pat dry. If your skin becomes excessively dry, you may need to rinse the cleanser off sooner or use it less often. It's important to avoid getting any of this medication in the eyes, on the lips, or inside the nose or mouth. If you have any concerns or questions, make sure to consult your doctor or pharmacist for further details. And remember, always inform your doctor if your condition does not improve or worsens. If you experience redness, irritation, or scaling of the skin, it is important to inform your doctor. This medication has been prescribed because the benefit to you is greater than the risk of side effects. However, it is important to watch for any serious side effects such as cracked skin, unusual weakness slash fatigue, dark urine, yellowing eyes or skin, signs of infection, easy bruising slash bleeding, or aching slash swollen joints. It is also important to consult your doctor if this medication is used on raw or broken skin, as you may be at increased risk for side effects. While a serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare, it is important to seek medical help right away if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, such as rash, itching slash swelling, dizziness, or trouble breathing. If you notice any other effects not listed here, it is important to contact your doctor or pharmacist for guidance. Before using ZMA Clear 9% to 4.5% topical suspension sulfonamide antimicrobials, make sure to inform your healthcare provider if you have any allergies to sulfa or sulfur. It's important to talk to your pharmacist about any inactive ingredients in the product that may cause allergic reactions or other issues. It's also important to discuss your medical history with your doctor, especially if you have kidney disease. If you are planning to have surgery, Make sure to inform your doctor or dentist about all the medications you are using, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. If you are pregnant, this medication should only be used when clearly needed. It's important to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. Additionally, this medication may pass into breast milk, so make sure to consult your doctor before breastfeeding. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions that could affect how your medications work or increase your risk for serious side effects. Make sure to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription and non-prescription drugs, as well as herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. It's essential not to start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Some products that may interact with SMA Clear 9% to 4.5% topical suspension sulfonamide antimicrobials include skin products containing silver, such as silver sulfadiazine. Be cautious and consult with your healthcare provider if you are using any of these products. If you or someone else has taken too much of ZMA Clear 9% to 4.5% topical suspension sulfonamide antimicrobials and are experiencing severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help by calling 911 or your local poison control center. This medication can be harmful if ingested. For U.S. residents, you can contact your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, and for Canada residents, you can call a provincial poison control center.
it's crucial to act quickly in cases of overdose to ensure proper medical attention is received. Always keep this information handy in case of an emergency. Remember, SMA Clear 9% to 4.5% topical suspension sulfonamide antimicrobials should only be used as directed by your healthcare provider. This medication should only be used for the condition for which it was prescribed. Do not use it for longer than prescribed. If you forget to use SMA Clear 9% to 4.5% topical suspension sulfonamide antimicrobials, use it as soon as you remember. If it is close to the time for your next dose, skip the missed dose and use the next dose at your regular time. Do not use a double dose to make up for the missed one. Make sure to store this medication at room temperature and keep it out of reach of children and pets. Do not dispose of this medication in the toilet or drain unless instructed to do so. When it expires or is no longer needed, be sure to properly discard it. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for more information on the proper way to do this. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.